Hello everyone, we are back here at Salute and at another table, this time for the Maidstone Wargame Society. I'm joined by some of their members uh, to have a chat about this terrific board, which I seen being set up yesterday. Uh, so, who wants to tell me what's going on on the table? So, the game's called Summer of 77. So, it's obviously set during the Battle of Britain. So we've got a participation game with players bringing German bombers onto the table to attack targets, airfields, fighter HQs on the table, and that's being defended by fighter aircraft from fighter command. Um, so it's a very simple game, um, and it was actually based on an article from Warlord magazine from 1977. So they're very, very simple rules, 1D6, simply moves all of the aircraft on the table and the fighters but they're very simple you have to match the roll from the distance of the aircraft to actually hit it so the rules take about one minute to learn but it makes a good fun game and it's obviously got a bespoke terrain um, where the aircraft are moved into slots on the table there um, so very straightforward so who put the train together then was it a, a collaborative effort at the club or uh, one of our uh, club members did all of this themselves. They're a, obviously a very good modeler. Um, so the aircraft are 1300 scale and it uses a false perspective. So they're actually two mil um, buildings and the terrain's done at yeah. two millimeter scale to create that kind of false perception of height. Yeah, well, I was blown away when I seen it last night and I was trying to work out what the game would be for because there was none of the planes, it was just the board sections and I knew I had to get back over here. Uh, so this is actually relatively simple by his standards. Yeah. Um, his, uh, his layouts tend to be more um, ornate and complicated than this, but I think this works really well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it looks, it looks magnificent. Uh, so with the, uh, the Maidstone War Game Society then, is it mainly historical games that you play there? or We do a bit of everything, actually. We do historical, fantasy, sci-fi, um, tabletop we, we, games and board games. Dragons. We even play Dungeons and Dragons now. Yeah. There you go, Break, breaking into the role playing as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've come back to that. Uh, uh, if people want to try and find you, uh, what's the best place to find you? Do you have a set venue that you run all the time, or? Yeah, so there we're is on a website. social media. It's a website, Facebook, uh, and uh, Linton Church Hall. There you go. Sounds fantastic. Um, if people want to check out this game, if they're here, absolute definitely drop by and have a go. Presumably, you may break it out at the club as well for some events. Yeah, yeah, we might do, yeah. I mean, it's a, it is a very friendly club, very friendly, very welcoming, and we generally do always want new members, so... Well, don't we all? People keep telling me it's an ageing hobby. The rule set came out the same year I was born, so I think it's not ageing at all, it's just perfect at it's that stage. Yeah. Uh, we've, got, we've got club members of a range of ages, from, you know, school children up to old duffers like us so um, you know it's quite a varied club with quite a range of different members in it doing a whole lot of different things and very happy to see new members um, to do anything really we'll join in anything okay well there you have it folks uh, check out the Maidstone Wargame Society if you're in the area and want to get involved with a new club we do have an open day on the fourth Saturday in June we well well pointed out so yes Fourth Saturday in June? Yes. Open day for the Maidstone Wargame Society. We're going to plough on and see what else is out and about here at Salutes.